everyone. I am Dr. Krishna Pandey. I am a clinical cardiologist at Krishna Shelby Hospital since last two, two and a half years. Today I am going to talk about uh, ELR test which is short for external loop recorder. This test is done in people who are suffering from irregular heartbeats, palpitations, dizziness, unconsciousness, unexplained fainting and discomfort of the chest. But before talking about the ELR, let us understand what cardiac arrhythmias are. Cardiac arrhythmia is a condition in which the heart beats irregularly, either too fast or too slow. So this condition is usually characterized by all the symptoms that I just spoke about, like irregular heartbeats, palpitations, dizziness, unconsciousness, unexplained fainting and discomfort of the chest. However, people suffering from this condition might have a normal heart rate if the symptoms have not set in. So this makes it a bit difficult for the condition to be diagnosed with other tests. It may go unnoticed on other tests like ECG and holder monitoring. Let me explain further. ECG monitors the heart rate at that particular moment when the ECG is taken for those few seconds. So if the patient does not have symptoms, then we may miss the condition. The same goes with holder monitoring, which is put on for 24 to 48 hours. As I said, if the patient does not develop symptoms during this time, the condition may be missed. This is when ELR comes into picture. ELR is a device that records a patient's heart rate for up to 7 days at a stretch and gives us an accurate measure of the function and problems of the heart, which may go unnoticed on ECG and holder. It is a highly recommended test, uh, especially in patients who have infrequent, short duration, transient symptoms that recur over weeks or months. So the device has two parts, uh, one is a patch that goes onto the patient's skin and the other is the transmitter, cellular transmitter which the patient has to carry uh, with him uh, within 9 meters of radius. So at, after the end of the prescribed time, uh, the recording is taken and the analysis is sent to the physician for further diagnosis. This ELR can be put up from 7 days to 30 days and thus has a higher chance of catching the cardiac arrhythmias that can be unnoticed, undiagnosed on other tests. So as I said, it is highly recommended in patients who have infrequent, short duration, transient symptoms that recur over a week or months. So thus it can help us uh, in early diagnosis and timely treatment of fatal cardiac arrhythmias and same lives. Thank you.